So let's try to look how we can calculate the following. I have here all these airports, but I want to filter out only the sales of a specific month. So let's start to use the sum if for this. So we're going to say here, we're going to type in some ifs with an S, and then we're going to start working on it. The first thing what I want to calculate is how many pieces or the quantity that we sold. So we're going to select here the sum range. That is the one I want to calculate. Then I'm going to say a comma, and then we're going to start with the criteria. The first criteria in this case would be everything from December, the 1st of December, 2023. However, to get the criteria, we need to select the date. So I'm going to grab all the dates that is connected with this column of quantity. Then we say a comma, and then we're going to say it must be larger or equal to one December. This here needs to be a string, but I will cover that later on. So just follow along. So I'm going to say here, larger or equal to December. That's 12 dash zero one for one December, 2023. So once we did this, put a comma and the next filter will be at the very end of the month. So what I'm going to select again, the criteria, comma, and then I'm going to say here December, the 31st. 2023 and of course before I even do that I need to make sure it should be smaller or equal to this specific date that makes sense of course so now I'm going to say a comma and the next filter I want to do is the filter on the category of apples so I'm going to select here the orders which is the category specification of which fruit type then I say a comma and I will select here apple once I did this enter we'll get an error the reason why we get this error is because we need to put quotations on our string related code so we're going to say here this code here is a string so you double quotation here and double quotation here we do the same here for the end date and there enter so now we're getting 10 items i can say here to do a autofill but i don't like this autofill because the date here has not been frozen or Specifically, the range is not frozen. As you can see here, this one is skipping to the row number two. So what I want to do here just for now, I'm going to do here a freezing of the cells. We say uh, on your Mac, press Fn and then F4. For the uh, Windows, it's just F4. So the same here, Fn, F4. Let's freeze every cell here. This one here as well. But the last one here, G8, is related to apples. Do not freeze this. This needs to be dynamic because later on we have the banana, orange, and melon. Enter. There we are. So if I will drag this, probably there will be no real difference because there is not that many categories for December. All right. So the next thing what I want to do is get the price. So we're going to use the same functionality for the price. So we're going to say here equal some ifs and then what I want to do here is the sum range. In this case, it will not be the quantity, but it will be the total of the price. Then I'm going to say a comma. Criteria range will be again the dates related to that column, comma. Then we can say here, smaller equal to December the 1st, 2023, comma. Get again the date and everything that is larger or equal to Oh, make sure we have that here, comma, and then larger or equal to December 31st, 2023. Finally, the final filter is the one of the category of the fruit. So I'm going to select this as the criteria range. And then we select here this as the criteria, which is apples. Enter. Let's fix this by putting quotations on our string related code. There we are and here as well enter all right so we're almost done let's make sure that this here is frozen and to do that fn f4 for the mac or else just f4 fn f4 fn f4 and finally here fn f4 so once i did that you can just say here enter there we are so now we get the price let's drag these and there we are. Is this correct? Banana is one, which is correct, 25 cents. Orange is a dollar a pop. There we are. And that's how we do it.